Hello everybody, I'm KC, and welcome to another edition of Let's Talk About. Today, let's continue the Pokemon 20th anniversary celebration and talk about Looker. Looker has always been a fascinating character in the Pokemon games, but he has become a much more popular topic for discussion in the last couple of years. If you've been keeping up with the games, chances are you know why, and that subject is what we'll be covering the most in this video, but for those not in the know, let's go over Looker's role in the games. Looker first appears in Pokemon Platinum during the main story. Looker is his code name, and he introduces himself as a member of the International Police, there to help stop the plans of the game's villainous group, Team Galactic. Looker later appears in the post-game of Pokemon Black and White, and has a much more significant and emotional role in the post-game of Pokemon X and Y. Looker's departure is given much more attention in this game, but we'll go more into that later. Now, let's get to the major subject of this video. Looker makes yet another post-game appearance in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, but this time, it's under more... unusual circumstances. Looker is found by the player washed up on the shore of the battle resort with amnesia. Fans have speculated wildly over how Looker wound up there and how this happened to him, and I became just as curious when I saw this happen. There are a few different theories from Hoopa being involved to Looker being a Time Lord. No, really. But I'm mostly going to analyze a theory that really sparked my interest. A theory that I believe was originated by Ovi and then expanded on by Bulbatube in the decks is that Looker was sailing on the SS Anne from the Kanto region and fell off the boat while sailing through the Hone region, which could lead to all sorts of circumstances that would cause Looker to lose his memory. If this is true, why did Looker fall off the SS Anne to begin with? Well, depending on what version of the game you're playing, the answer could be interesting. If you played Alpha Sapphire like I did, then the big destructive Pokemon who wreaks havoc on Hoenn is Kyogre, who creates giant destructive storms and chaotic currents in the ocean. Weather conditions like that could cause a lot of trouble for a ship at sea. Now, you don't get to the battle resort until after that event, and it's implied that Looker had washed up recently, which could mean that Looker's accident and amnesia were indirectly caused by Kyogre and Team Aqua's plans. So this theory is already really cool. It adds an interesting take on the expanded universe of the Pokemon world, and with a popular character like Looker in such a situation, it could lead to an interesting story in the next game. Or maybe not. The only thing messing up this theory for me is this. A scenario developer for most of the main series Pokemon games, Toshinobu Matsumiya, I think that's how you pronounce it, tweeted this updated Pokemon timeline. Not only revealing that Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire take place at the same time as Fire Red and Leaf Green, but that this incident apparently takes place before all of Looker's other appearances. What? If that's the case, what does this mean for Looker as a character? Is this some kind of look back into Looker's origins before he became a secret agent? I don't think so, because he's still in his signature outfit when he's washed up on the shore. And if you are a fictional character with a trench coat, you are a detective. Or an adventurous scientist. Maybe it's like a Jason Bourne scenario, where Looker was a secret agent before he got amnesia, and everything we see him do in the games is him doing some form of vigilante work, trying to piece together what he can of his old identity? This could be intriguing, but given that Looker is a third tier character in the games, I don't think they give him the time to tell a story like this. Even if Looker's appearance in X and Y was very emotionally driven, and probably the best part story-wise in the game. But, the fact that he had such an emotional departure in X and Y is part of my problem with the current timeline. Like I said, Looker has a great story in Pokemon X and Y, and is given more time there than he ever has in the previous games. Heck, it's even implied that he lost his Pokemon partner. So when Looker leaves the game, he passes on the codename of Looker to the player, and then leaves Kalos for good. With a departure like that, and having Looker pass on his codename, it seemed like Looker was moving on to something else besides police work. Or at the least, his position and name have been compromised and he has to start over. So after so much investment and time put into Looker's arc, wouldn't it be interesting to see the events of Oros be the next part of Looker's story? Heck, that's what I thought was happening at first. But the theory of Looker being on the SSN does line up with the timeline, and my stance is to go by the crew's word of mouth first. So I guess I'm just a bit confused on what this will mean for Looker going forward. I'm mostly viewing this from a storytelling perspective, and that's where this timeline kind of loses me. The next Pokemon game is Pokemon Sun and Moon, a new generation game. Since I'm sure they don't want to make this timeline too confusing, I assume that this game will take place after X and Y. But if that's the case, what will this mean for Looker? I certainly hope that after a big plot point like Looker getting amnesia being revealed, that he will appear in Sun and Moon. 
But will it be as we left him in X and Y? Or will this timeline be debunked and we'll run into a looker struggling to regain his lost memories? I honestly don't know. This is the first time I've made a video solely on examining a theory, but Looker's situation was so fascinating and confusing to me at the same time, I just had to talk about it. This is mostly just speculating and analyzing a theory attached to a moment in the games where there is not much to go on. Hopefully Looker does show up again in Pokemon Sun and Moon, because if anything, it'll give us something to work with to try and figure out what exactly is going on with him, or has been going on with him. At the very least, Looker's next appearance is going to be very interesting. In the meantime, I'd like to hear from you guys. I always encourage leaving comments in these videos to add to the discussion, but this is a subject I am extra curious to hear thoughts on. So let me know what you think of Looker's situation, what you think really happened to him, where you would like to see him go from here, and if I made any sense at all analyzing this theory. Come back next month to see what else I have in store for Pokemon's 20th anniversary. Until then, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.